Hi friends, I am discussing about meniscus and uh, how the injury of this meniscus uh, is treated in this video. So you have heard of meniscus in many of my videos. Meniscus is a structure found between two bones of the knee. This is called femur which is thigh bone. This is called tibia which is a leg bone. Between this and this bone there will be a structure, soft structure which gives cushioning effect to the knee joint that is called meniscus. This is called meniscus. This colored structure is called meniscus. This meniscus plural is menisci. So this there are two meniscus. So the outer part is called lateral, inner part is called medial. You can see that there are two meniscus. One is outer, one is inner. This can be damaged while playing, uh, during twisting injuries or road traffic accidents or along with another ligament injuries like ACL injury, PCL injury. So what do we do when this meniscus is damaged? Whenever this meniscus are damaged, we try to fix it, meaning we try to stitch it back. These stitches are done with the help of arthroscope, meaning keyhole surgery. Whenever someone comes with recurrent or repeated pain in one of the areas of knee, either this side or this side, in the inner part or outer part, and when we get MRI scan and check the integrity of meniscus, and if it is found to be torn, we try to stitch it. Means surgery is done with the help of a small keyhole uh, incisions, holes made in the uh, front of the knee and with the instruments we try to fix. There is a word called meniscectomy, meaning whenever this meniscus which cannot be fixed, which, are, which cannot be stitched back, then we try to trim it or we try to balance it. This procedure is called meniscectomy means some of the smaller tears, the tears which are very smaller uh, fragments which cannot be held with the help of stitches, we remove that part of meniscus because these meniscus uh, which are torn as multiple fragments come in between these two bones and we, they cause something like locking of the knee and person will have pain while walking or while bending or while straightening or climbing stairs or sitting on the floor or or any of these activities. Our effort is always to fix the meniscus. Even if it is torn as in, in, into multiple fragments, we try to fix with, with the newer technologies and newer techniques and different equipments and instruments. And when we remove that part of the meniscus which is torn into multiple fragments, that part of the meniscus, we will not remove whole of a meniscus. We remove well, only whichever part which is torn into multiple fragments. And some rare circumstances, whole of the meniscus is torn. In such situation, whole of the meniscus is removed. Then what happens if this meniscus is removed? When this meniscus is not there between these bones, that area, if total meniscus is not there, that area is at risk of development of wear and tear changes in the knee joint, in the cartilage of the knee joint. That might cause pain and early development degenerative changes. That is called osteoarthritis. But in cases of a localized area of tear and meniscus which is balanced, that area may not develop as early as complete damage of the complete removal of the meniscus. Means this meniscectomy which is done to remove the fragments is a described procedure and it is a, a a very commonly performed procedure in cases where the meniscus cannot be stitched. And the next question many people ask is that when we remove this meniscus, does it grow back? No, it doesn't grow back. Because this question is asked by many patients to me and then it doesn't. It is like an organ, it's like any other organ, like appendix or uh, some other organ which you remove, it doesn't grow back, right? Similarly, this meniscus 
also whenever we remove it doesn't go back that part will be void that part will be empty and uh, this is very important information uh, that people should know that meniscus when it is removed it doesn't go back whenever it is possible we have to try to save the meniscus use whatever uh, newer techniques and technology to stitch it back retain that cushioning effect to the knee and avoid its development of osteoarthritis changes okay this is the information i would like to i wanted to give in this video uh, so uh, if you have liked this video or uh, if you found this is uh, uh, informative uh, to you or your family friends uh, please share and like this video and uh, don't forget to uh, subscribe to my channel thank you